Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. We stand for the national anthem of Poland. Although it's got the juices flowing, and now this. two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. So we're up and running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Samuel Umtiti. Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Now it's Shiru. Shoots! What a wonderful goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. And I'll tell you, the chest control was the key component there. That enabled the shot. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Click. Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. Krikoviak. Brzezinski. Mbappe. Lewandowski! Really well taken goal. They have hauled themselves right back into it. And it has to be said, an absolute gift.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Krasitsky. And it's Krasitsky. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Griezmann. Titi. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Giroud really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's there to clear it. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Griezmann, who does have an assist to his name. Matuidi. Mondi. Now it's Griezmann. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. Klich. Hoists it forward. Piontek. Matuidi. Mbappe. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Zielinski. Krakowiak. Klich. In towards the middle. Gets up to head it! Harmlessly behind. Conte, across the field it goes. Pavard, Rafael Baran. Conte, Matuidi, and Titi. Titi goes looking. Matuidi, just brushed off the ball there. He's through the middle. Piontek, and he's away, it's Piontek! That is simply superb! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order! They've done it! It was coming, they have their reward! Smartly deceptive, what quality! Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? Yeah, for me this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. And here's Matuidi, he's come loose.
Brzezinski. Now it's Lewandowski. Loris gets it upfield. Pavar. Griezmann. Krakowiak battles to win it back. Well weighted. Now it's Lewandowski. Piontek. Piontek! And a header! He scored! And they're at it again in double quick time! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Poland, go two up, and the whistle goes for half-time. Well, Peter, I think the score is a fair reflection of what we've witnessed so far, and that being good movement in, in both midfield and indeed up front. If those players, I think, can carry on where they left off after the break, they should impose themselves even more, and probably only one result coming here. Well, that has been a goal-blessed half. It is 3-1. So, off we go once more. No reported change to either side during the break. Krakowiak. Goes direct to the front line. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Now it's Lewandowski. Pogba. And here's Giroud. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Cuts it out. Click. Zielinski. Krakowiak. Glick to play it forward. Lewandowski gets flagged offside. Keeper's got good distance on that. Grzycki. Ball through needs to be good here. Piontek shoots. Surely this time. And it's there. And the lead is three. It is surely done. Loris did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow up. That's just top-notch, showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it, ball breaks kindly, he's always about. So now the difference is three. Conte. And it's Glick. It's the through ball. It's Piontek! In it goes! 
surely now they are well and truly out of sight. And a trademark move ends with the inevitable classy finish. Just when they thought they may be in at one end, they end up shipping a goal at the other, and it's all due to wonderful counter-attacking. They hardly had time to even react, and there's only one word to describe that, clinical. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player, he's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Poland tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt will be looking to, to cause even more damage here. How about a shot? Oh, the ball's come loose! Havar. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Pogba tries to switch the play. And it's played forward. Mbappe. And here's Matuidi. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Mbappé. Pavard. Towering header. And in it goes. What a great header. Got plenty on that. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header. And if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met. It really was. Well, they have a goal, but it is surely too much to hope for a comeback. Well, that's where he wants it. And that's been won straight back. Plays it out to the flank. Now it's Lewandowski. Conte. Mbappe. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Forward it goes. Piontek has a pop! Oh, that is rather wayward. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. Another change here. Oh, I needed a better pass there. Mbappe. And the counter attack is on for France. France uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the... Lewandowski! That tested the keeper. Lewandowski put absolutely everything he had into that. Maybe better look next time. Out to the right. Pavar is charging up on the overlap. That's gone a long way up and away. Krasitsky. And the counter is on. Now it's Lewandowski. 
Piontek goes up and over. And the through ball is intercepted. Zielinski, great leap! He will be livid with himself. Mbappe, Pavard, and it's Gre it's Griezmann! Oh, outstanding save. France have turned to their bench, and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Hernandez, four added minutes on the board. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Krikoviak. It's being played forward. Loris deals with it effortlessly. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Poland winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind, made it happen, and won. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Look, you often need resolve and resilience when under more pressure away from home, but 